See? Couldn't have done it without you, Sam. It's just always better when we're together. Right, sweetheart? Yeah, make it go higher, <laughs> Daddy. Oh, I don't know if I can. I gotta hold on tight. Oh! Yeah. Get a good one. Yeah! Oh. Ah. Give her a cookie! <laughs> Good one. That's a good one, yeah. Good choice. <laughs> and up we go. Good morning, sir. I'm on the road. Should be in about uh Jack, where were you yesterday? Uh I was with my daughter all day. Your daughter? Yeah, yeah. Sundays we always go to the park and, and do pancakes. It's our day. Jack, it's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. You didn't show, you didn't call, and this isn't the first time. What's going on? I, you know, I, I'm, I'm on my way. I know you're going through a tough time right now. Why don't you take a couple of weeks off? Our projects are wrapped up, things are slowing down. It's the holidays, man. We'll see you in the new year. Sound good? Yeah, uh, all right. Uh, uh, happy holidays, and I'll see you then. Hello, oh, beautiful. It's been a bit of a tough day. I wish I could see you. I miss your smile. I miss your laugh. I miss how you used to always stick your tongue out every time I wanted to take a serious picture. I miss those breadcrumbs you'd leave from the kitchen to the front door, eating those ridiculous rice cakes and calling them breakfast. What kind of pancakes are we having today? Unicorn! A unicorn! Or how about the mouse of the big ears? No. No? What would you rather eat? A unicorn or eat a mouse of big ears? Ew! So neither? Let's no. do the mouse. Let's do it. I'll try the... No. Okay, I'll try something different, okay? Okay. Okay. What's wrong, Daddy? Nothing, sweetie. I just got a little bit of a headache. Why don't you take your medicine? You know I don't like to take my medicine. It will make you feel better. Okay. Jack, this is serious. The latest scans have shown the situation has become critical. We are running out of options. You need to take your meds consistently. It's just, I feel sicker when I take them. I feel better when I don't take them. I don't think they're working. And honestly, I don't think I want them to. Listen to me, as your friend and physician, these aren't visions, it's delirium. And when that sets in, you'll lose your grip on reality. See things and people that aren't there. Hear sounds that don't make sense. Not many people with your condition can get through without the trick to the hear and the program. Your unicorn pancakes are getting better, Daddy. Oh, well, I hope so. I've been making a lot of those lately. You know, that one's going to have pumpkin in it. It is? Mm-hmm. You remember what, uh, what your mom's favorite holiday was? Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was actually Halloween. 
She loved pumpkins. Mine is Christmas. That's right, yours is Christmas. Now it reminds me, after this, you and I are gonna have a Christmas ball. Yay! You, know, you wanna do that? We can get dressed up. Just have some fun, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you enjoy your unicorn pancake again. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I hear your favorite song. Keep your dad a dance? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get an ornament, huh? Yeah, I like that idea. Merry Christmas, sis. You look nice. Thank you. For a minute there, I was worried we weren't even going to get together this year. But you dressed up and everything. Yeah, this? Well, Samantha and I were having a little Christmas ball. Have you been taking your meds? I haven't. Why not? Because when I take them, Samantha is not here. That's because she's not here, Jack. She is here! She's here for me! And if you're not going to be, you could just leave. We've been through this before. Get out! Dr. Whitman. Jess, good to see you. What's going on? I know you're busy, but I need to talk to you about Jack. Let me be blunt. He's not taking my advice. He didn't even show up for our last appointment. There's nothing more we can do. Is there anything I can do? Can I take him back to the city, see another doctor, maybe get some more tests, another opinion? It's spread too far. So you're just going to let him commit suicide? Jess, it's not suicide. It's just letting nature take its course. I feel so helpless. And I hate it. I've seen this before. Do you want some non-medical advice? Sure. Just accept his choice. We all regret not spending more time with our loved ones, especially at the end. Don't fight him. Not everyone gets a chance to say goodbye. Good for you and Samantha. It's a tea party set. I love you. And I'm here for you. I love you too, Jess. Care to join us? I'd love to, but I gotta go. You know what? Invite me to the next tea party. Okay. Absolutely. And Jesse brought us a gift.
See? Couldn't have done it without you, Sam. It's just always better when we're together. Right, sweetheart? Yeah, make it go higher, <laughs> Daddy. Oh, I don't know if I can. I gotta hold on tight. 